Yo, yo, it's my friend Joel. Um, I'm out at this property. We're gonna look for some snakes. We're doing some land clearing. As you can see out here, and you said they haven't really seen much uh, yet. They have seen one snake. They're not sure what it is. But okay. They saw one, and uh, there's a whole bunch of rocks that they used to make their home in, but there's also this little like river clearing, like a little brook. Hopefully we can find something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll get something good then. So it seems like some good habitat. I mean, definitely never hurt this area of Florida, but I mean, it's just prime habitat, so I'm excited. All right, check it out. Just flip this amazing centipede. I think it's called a Florida red centipede. I don't really remember. Um, I don't know my centipede species, but absolutely ginormous for whatever this species is. I mean, I've flipped tons of these guys and never seen one quite that big. I'm a little hesitant to let them crawl at me. Um, centipedes can be kind of hard to read. And once they sort of decide they want to sit down, it can be kind of hard to get them off your fingers without them uh, taking a little nibble. So super cool though. I mean, I don't know if you can see here. All right, well, we just flipped this palmetto and just found this absolutely stunning ring neck snake. Um, it's no rattlesnake or indigo, but it's something. We'll, we will take something over nothing out here today. It's actually pretty neat. I've never seen a ring neck with a ring that vivid orange. That is the brightest orange ring I've ever seen in a ring neck. Usually they're yellowish, the same colors as belly there. So the fact that it's orange like the tail is really fascinating. I'm gonna make sure to get a lot of photos of that. Um, it's a solid B tier. I always enjoy ring necks. They always have a good bit of color. Um, they can be flipped readily throughout the year if you know what you're doing and know what you're flipping. I just don't most of the time. But um, beautiful little snake. Yeah, really, really nice. I don't know if that counts as an aberration. I mean, again, I really never see anything that orange. So it's pretty neat. Yeah, check Your hands are that super out. famous now. Whoa. <laughs> so orange. Yeah, all 100 people who watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> check that out, guys got a little saddlebag caterpillar. I don't remember what moth this turns into, but it's been forever since I've seen one of these things in the wild. It's so cool. There's a lot of thorns, so be careful. I'm just saying. All right, got ourselves a little black racer. He was coiled up right here um, in shed. I was gonna try to get the phone out first, but he started to move, so I had to go for the catch. Um, sometimes when snakes are in shed, you can see the really blue eye caps there. Um, what they'll end up doing, he, he will bite my face if I give him the chance. Um, they tend to be sort of aggravated. They don't really know what's going on. Tend to sort of freak out. So yeah, he's like partially blind right now. So he tends to be a little bit more antsy. Um, but that doesn't really, doesn't really hurt or anything. Very cool. Yeah, um, normally a black race would be a jet black. This guy's sort of this weird grayish coloration um, because of how in shed he is. Uh, but once he sheds his skin in the next few days here, rub it off against some rocks or a stump or something, He'll be a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, jet black coloration. And those, hey, chill out, man. Okay, wow, look, such good precision, honestly. All the way my thumb over there. Sometimes when holding black racers, I forget their strike capabilities, and I'll get them too close up to my face without paying attention, and before I know it, I've got a scar on my nose there from a, a racer I let get too close, so. Oh, there Al is, let's see if he wants to. You wanna see the snake, Al? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a little, nice little black racer. Yeah. Do you wanna, you wanna, you wanna see him closer in a controlled environment? No. Whoa, whoa, what environment you gonna put him in? No, yeah, I mean like, like it's a controlled environment right now. You, you wanna come see him? No, he all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got real good seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Him? Yeah. Just calm down now. We're so like the big thing with handling snakes is you gotta support the head. People always get nervous that the head. That's where the bites come from. So they tend to like hold him by the tail and swing him out. But like, that's gonna make him all antsy. He's gonna freak out. But whereas when I'm supporting his whole body, he's a lot more calm. Just letting him go through my hands, he feels a lot more comfortable. A bite would be surprising, but it really doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't even sting. It's like so minimal. For sure. Like, if, like getting pricked with a, for like blood, like hurts more, yeah, I promise. I get that. You wanna try it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Joel. Just let him go right through. He's gonna move his left. Keep, just keep like feeding him right through your hands. You got it. That bud, hi. Hey, you got you got a brave boyfriend. How about that? <laughs> How about that, man? It's chill now. Super cool. I don't want to get I don't blame you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Wolf species. Ooh, it's a wolf geez. spider. It's actually called a it's called a burrowing wolf spider. They're a little bit different. And ah, he's trying to bite me. You saw that? <laughs> that was terrifying. 
I knew he would, but he always fast. Oh, it's a cute little green tree frog. I realized I never did an outro, but um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, big thanks to Joel and Marissa for having me out. It was a great time. I'll um, hopefully get my hands on some more snakes with them soon. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, share this around, and I'll put another vlog soon.